Hey guys, my name is Vyabhav Agarwal and once again welcome back to our YouTube channel Study Material. Friends, as you all know, we have started a channel Study Material for interview experience related playlist in which we have shared a lot of interview experience with multiple companies like Cognient, Infosys, TCS, Wipro, Capgemini, Mdocs, Accenture and many more. So friends, this series will continue. There is another video coming up and that will be the interview experience of CityCorp. Yes friends, today we are with Nandani Soni, who has joined us recently with CityCorp. So today we are going to share the whole interview experience with us. We are going to share the whole recruitment process A to Z. What was their strategy, where they were going to prepare them. And what was the rounds in CityCorp? What was the number of rounds in CityCorp? What was the number of rounds in CityCorp? What was the rounds in CityCorp? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or the coding questions? So everything is going to be covered in this video. Each and everything will be in detail. तो फ्रेंड्स वीडियो को एंड तक जरूर देखिएगा और चैनल को आपने अगर अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो प्लीज इसे सब्सक्राइब जरूर कर लीजिए और फ्रेंड्स अगर आप भी अपना इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस हमारे साथ शेयर करना चाहते हैं हमारे चैनल पर शेयर करना चाहते हैं तो आप हमें कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं ऑन स्टडी मटेरियल टीम एट तो फ्रेंड्स आगे चलते हैं और कनेक्ट करते हैं नंदनी के साथ तो फ्रेंड्स आज है हमारे साथ नंदनी सोनी और वो अपना इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस यहाँ पर शेयर करने वाले हैं सिटी कॉप का तो नंदनी सबसे पहले इफ यू कुड इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ योर कंपनी योर पास आउट योर योर कॉलेज एंड टोटल इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस Yeah. Hi everyone. Uh, as my name is Nandini Soni, and I have like done my bachelor's of engineering in computer science, and graduated in 2019. And uh, then I got placed with Capgemini. And uh, around working around three years, I uh, moved with Cognizant, and there I worked approximately five to six months. And then currently, I'm working with CityCorp. Also, I have this year I have completed my PGDM uh, degree. So I'm postgraduate now. In uh, I have done in uh, IT with finance. So when you recently joined this, I mean, in which month you joined this city of? I joined in November. Okay. As you mentioned regarding the Cognion that you worked there only for five to six months, and what was the reason behind leaving the company too soon? If you could explain the reason, that would be great. Yeah, actually, the main reason was uh, for leaving uh, Cognizant was that. Uh, I was hired as a full stack Java developer, okay. and then there I was uh, put on a development support project, and then uh, the number of working hours were approximately thirteen to fourteen daily. So I was not able to do a work life balance, and uh, I I'll have to like I would be asked to work like for twenty four months in this project. So that would be a very long period of time for my this career growth. Hmm. Okay, I understand. So, main reason behind that was the career growth and the work-life balance, right? Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, okay. Uh, Nandini, could you explain that from where you have applied for City Corp? Uh, is there any from particular portal like uh, Nokia.com, LinkedIn, or by the referral? Uh, I applied in few companies that I wanted to join in Nokia. Uh, and it was only Nokri. I did try to get few referrals uh, from LinkedIn, and uh, I did get one to two calls, but they were not uh, big giant firms. They were very small scale uh, companies of having thirty, forty, or two hundred maximum employees. So uh, basically, the main uh, portal was Nokri. I got, I applied in some of uh, places, but uh, I. Got directly call uh, by city. I got call from other companies, but they got my profile reflected there. Okay. So city was the first company. I mean, you got offer after leaving the company, and or I mean, apart from the city, you were having some other offer later. Yes, uh, I was having TCS, Wipro, Accenture, and IBM offer also. Okay, you were having five offer letters in city company. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nandini, if you could recall the recruitment process, that what was the process uh, and uh, how many rounds were there, and if you could explain brief about the each round that we get to our viewers. Okay, so basically there were five rounds in total. First was the hacker rank test that they conduct uh, before uh, even taking the interview. So first was the hacker rank round. Second was the uh, front end as I applied for full stack. Second was the front end round. Third was the back end round. Fourth was a managerial plus full stack round, and fifth was the HR round. Okay, okay. So in the hacker rank, how many questions were there, and what was the difficulty level of that? And uh, addition to this, one more question I just want to ask: that what was the criteria for crossing this round? I mean, how many percentage wise? I am asking that if 
suppose there were four question or five question then how much percentage you you have to complete the task so you will be crossing it okay so there were uh, two coding questions and uh, the difficulty level was medium and if you clear one test also then you will be uh, you'll clear the round so you have to min minimum one question that you have to clear if you clear one question then well enough if two then nothing better than that okay regarding the second round as you mentioned regarding the second round it was a front end round the third round was a back end round so what was the question there it, there was any theoretical question or there were some coding questions as well in those rounds and what was the main technology they focused on on those uh in the first front end round uh, they share their screen uh like we are doing a zoom meeting then there is a section that will be open angular coding angular js you have to code and uh, you have to compile test run if it runs successfully then fine this was asked to me in the first front end round and uh, that person who is sitting next to like who is the interviewer is a 10 year minimum experience person and uh, the interview last like one one and a half hour for every uh, face to face round and uh, the questions were mostly theoretical but they do ask you certain questions like for example there is a page then you have to te text a line in the center so you can just uh, write the code but how you do with css or what are the other ways there are some more technical terms that you must know so if for the basic uh one question how we can uh, do it in multiple ways Mo okay. mostly they were focused on this great and in the back end round what they were asking i mean is there any particular topics they were focused on yeah they mostly they in the back end also they focus mostly on collections array microservices and rest api so uh, these days everybody every firm is working on microservices and rest api so if you give any back end uh, round interview then you will have to face uh, these questions so if you just in case you think that i can skip because i don't have experience hands on experience on microservices or rest api that doesn't work okay okay and what was the gap between those rounds as you mentioned that uh, there were five rounds right so i am little bit confused that after first round how many days of gap you got and after second round how many days you get for the third round uh in my uh, in my first round the day i gave my hacker rank test uh the next i think in two days they told me that i have cleared my test after one week of my first round they conducted the interview round and uh, the it was conducted at 6 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, they took my second round at 7:30 so they told me on the spot that you are selected and you can proceed with the back end round so once the back end round is cleared you can be little okay that okay uh, you might get have a better like 80% chance to getting selected because uh, in the managerial round the manager does ask uh, he will roast you a little bit but then not uh, in comparison to the front end and back end round so um in and in uh, like managerial round uh, they did ask me after a long gap i saw that they are asking uh, like aptitude and logical reasoning questions so like what is the age if the age of son is this and the father's age or a puzzle so they did ask in the managerial round okay so you mean to say the fsd round is to, it was combined with the managerial round right? that's correct and uh, the fsd round is uh, conducted by the vp of city and uh, he's a senior manager person so he is the only person who takes uh, the final call that's great i mean it's a long process this four five rounds for the city cop so i and one hour yeah. more than one hour for each round as you mentioned right for the second yes. round round yes. uh, the that's next question great. i just want to ask regarding the important topics that you would like to highlight here that if anyone is going to part of this city cop and they are applying for city cop then what will the main topics you would like to highlight that okay they have to focus on those topics okay so you cannot uh, leave anything if you think that okay uh, rest api is not a big topic or i don't know so it will work that doesn't work and uh, you should mainly have the front end and back end knowledge it is very important to have basic html css even if you are not able to write in angular framework that also works fine but you you should know that and uh, in the back end you should know collections array java javascript and uh, 
micro services and rest api again i am focus on that because in every interview this was asked and uh, there are couple of repetitive questions if you give multiple interviews you understand and uh, the main, the main material from which you can uh, study these topics are like geeks for geeks there is one section i believe which is like 100 coding questions before you attend any interview so i whether it be hacker rank whether it be uh, zoom call and they ask you to write a code it is the same question that comes in geeks for geeks from geeks for geeks so okay. definitely uh, for coding you should blindly trust geek for geeks and just write the code and uh, for me one mistake that happened was that i was writing a code i wrote the code it it took a lot of time it compiled successfully but then by mistake i told he said that he was not hoping for me to completely write the code okay. and uh, i just by mistake i told him that uh, actually i already practiced in geeks for geeks so okay. then he gave me another set of code and it took like 2 hours okay. so yeah 2 hours for one question you mean to say no no 2 hours for the whole interview okay okay got it got it yeah. uh, okay any resources or references that you would like to mention here that you have used for your preparation during this entire time like apart from the yeah, geeks for geeks or have... any other you any youtube yeah channel? java java t point and uh, there is one more i would like to suggest which is telescope telescope and yeah. uh, this is yeah so it is for like if you want to start studying from basic and you know if you don't want the long hours 3 4 hours lecture then there are like there are short short videos and then you can just complete it okay okay thank you nandini i, I think we have covered everything and you have shared the details in entire process in detail or uh, the last question i would ask you the regarding the tips or suggestion that you want to give to the upcoming freshers or viewers those who want to be part of this city co for freshers as well as for the experienced person without if you want to get recruited for even for production support also uh, you should know coding and there is very very large number of opportunity in full stack in comparison to any any other domain right. so if you are specifically uh, looking for uh, like full stack then you should uh, be thorough with your java skills and specifically java i at that time of when i was starting the interview i was working with java 8 and they are like far far away from java 8 they are very advanced while they are working right now in the form they are very much upgraded so you should at least know in any version but you should know the coding skills and uh, at the time of like applying also um, don't be very much choosy that i don't want to go to this form i don't want to go to the, that form if you just apply and give interviews you might be reject, rejected also but if you mind get selected then you get the confidence plus if you mind get rejected you get a set of questions every i have one copy that i maintain which helped me a lot like i used to write all the questions which were asked to me at the time of uh, interview so even the moment my interview got over i used to write all the coding or every co- question and 50% of those questions were repeated in the next round and that helped me a lot so this is a tip that i'll give and uh, second is like if you are selected in one form just don't uh, jump into that form directly just hold on a bit and see uh, what if you get a better opportunity lined up for you and uh, just as for the market if they are firing so just go in a very stable form also that was a very genuine and i guess the most important tips that i you had heard from you okay uh, yeah. okay thank you nandini for sharing your interview experience uh okay friends so thank this you. is all about this video and uh, i would mention the linkedin profile on nandini in the description box if you want to connect with her you can connect her and uh, if you guys have any doubt please write down in the comment section i and anni will try to answer them so this is all about friends this video please do share and don't forget to subscribe our channel nandri i would like to thanks one again thank you so much for having me thanks everyone